welcome to Island TV. I am your host, Nadez Sharubin. And today we have a wonderful guest with us, Mr. Westner Kalix, who is the actor, the writer, the director of the new Haitian action movie, Mission Doom. Welcome, Westner. How are you today? I'm doing okay, thank you. Um, take the time to say hello to everyone out there that's watching Island TV. <laughs> well, wow, they're so excited to see you on TV today. So you have a new movie out that's called Mission Do. Yes. I know you're extremely excited about that. Yes, because that's been, I've been waiting for that uh, moment a very long time ago to have the movie actually in Miami. Wow, and that day has finally come. Yes, Congratulations. It is. Thank you. So, Wester, tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you How did you know that this is what you wanted to do? Yes, from watching movies. I used to like watching the James Bond movies with Sean Connery, Roger Moore, Indiana Jones. It's like I see, I feel, and I try to learn from this. So, from what are some of the things that you would look for in these movies that you would go and watch and learn from these people like James Bond, Indiana Jones? What were some of the things that you picked up from? Uh, first. Of all, as a producer, I don't watch movies like everybody else. Oh, you know? okay. It's like um, you try to guess what's going to happen next in the camera trick, the sound system, the way the actors handle the moves, you know, seeing the stunts. So that's what we're basically looking for. That's how I was able to do it myself and for me to get prepared to produce my movie. And now you're ready. Oh, yes, I did. I produced the movie. <laughs> awesome. So exactly. you were born in Haiti? Yes, I was born and raised in Haiti. I'm 110% Haitian. Where from Haiti? <laughs> my parents from Okai, but I'm originally from Port-au-Prince, Catalonia. <laughs> So, Mission Do, tell us, what is that? Um, Besides, Mission it's a movie. We know it's a movie, but Mission Do, where the name comes from? Mission, Mission Do is actually a very nice guy that's very quiet and nice, and um, he doesn't turn bad until you actually do something. To him. You know, it's like a very quiet person, but that can turn and then to become a meanest guy ever. So, that's what Mission Do is coming from. So Mission Do is similar, like bittersweet. Yes, exactly. You get that. Bittersweet, okay. I'm nice, but don't let me get me. Exactly. You because of the movie title, because of the script, it was so difficult to find an artist that can play the role. Because we audition a lot of, you know, stars that come in, this, in, in, in the production. We have about 151 artists that plays in that movie. Wow, so tell me about that audition process before the movie. Um, you said it's uh, 151, 151 people. 151. How many people, how many actors do you have in the movie? In the movie, we have at least, I think it's about 147. From the people that uh, we audited, it was more than 151. We select 151. So it wasn't an easy process. It took a tremendous oh, yes. time. Actually, I wasn't planning to be the star in this show because I would think that I would do a better job producing and directing the movie. You know? But unfortunately, we couldn't find someone that can make the standard, someone that can exactly play the role. So I had no choice but playing it. You had no choice but to play Mish and do yes. so. And you did a really good job. That's what everybody says. <laughs> <laughs> well, somewhere, what inspired you to go ahead and write Mish and do? And what do you want the Haitian people to get out of this movie exactly? Okay, first of all, I want um, our uh, people, um, the Haitian community, see a movie um, as a movie. Don't bring the movie to, to the reality. You know, this is, this is a no no. Uh, don't go by what what's happening in the movie, what's going on in the movie. The movie is really, like we watch Terminator, we watch um, a lot of big hit action um, American film. It doesn't have to have something in it that's going to make you go um, in your normal routine, you know, in your life. Don't don't try to do it. An action movie, you go to the movie theater, you watch an action movie, and then don't try to be a hero. Don't try to play with guns. That don't, <laughs> that, that, don't try this at home. I, in other yeah, words. Don't try to go home. Like, I remember I went to watch um, Fast and the Furious. Mm -hmm. And um, as we finished watching the movie, and my good instinct tell me, you know what, Wes? You should wait in the theater for at least 30 minutes. Because technically, most of the um, viewers that just finished watching that movie, as they leave in the theater, all you can hear, every car squeaking, go like, ah! you go crazy, you know? 
because it's still the blood is just watch a lot of action with car chase and all that we have to keep the movie as a movie people that play a role doesn't mean that you are what you play in the movie